Lori Neverman from Common Sense Homesteading. Today we're taking a look at our solar water heating system. We have two 4x8 flat plate collectors mounted together in series. These are mounted on four 6x6 pressure treated lumber poles which are set three, three feet deep in concrete so they're nice and sturdy. We do get a lot of wind out here so I didn't want them going anywhere. The fluid for the panels comes in down at the bottom here. It's a mix of propylene glycol and water to provide us with frost protection. It comes across the bottom of the two collectors through the footer and then up through the panels and across in the header and then out the top over there. And then it feeds back to the house where we have our storage tank, pump, and controller. These two panels used to be a part of the Packerland Packing Solar Water Heating System, which at one point was the one of the, the world's largest solar flat plate collector solar water heating system. And they were part of my farewell gift from the company when I left to come home to raise my boys. So they have been in service for the better part of 30 years or so and are still going strong. Um, they have tempered glass on them so they are impact resistant and that specialized glass to allow maximum sun penetration. And they are all copper waterways and all copper absorbers to again maximize the amount of heat that's gathered by the sun and they have a specialized selective surface paint. Um, as I mentioned they are tied into our storage tank inside which preheats the water for our space heating and our solar or our regular domestic hot water. In the next video in this series we'll talk about what's inside the house that makes the system work. So we hope you tune in for that and thank you for listening and we hope you'll consider subscribing.